Everybody, first of all, I don't know why all the girls over there and all the guys over here, if you ain't talking to a girl, then you got to go, because this, this ain't that type of party. Today, we're diving into something pretty intriguing, Diddy's infamous parties. Now, I've noticed a curious trend. All the girls are grouped on one side and all the guys on the other. If you're at a party and not mixing, you might want to rethink your strategy because this isn't just any gathering. Recently, the spotlight has shifted to Kevin Hart, who was seen hosting one of these legendary events in a video that went viral, sparking all sorts of conversations. Lately, Diddy's parties have been the talk of the town. I'm looking at him as a saint going to a party that ain't nothing but sin. Drinking, maybe fornication, man on man, woman on woman, he on she. Celebrities from Jamie Foxx to 50 Cent have been vocal about their experiences, showing a range of reactions to these lavish affairs. As for Kevin Hart, stepping into this world, he looked like an angel walking into a den of mischief with plenty of drinking and everyone just letting loose. Men with men, women with women, all sorts mingling without reservations. It's the kind of scene that has long fueled rumors about just how wild Diddy's parties can get. For decades, these gatherings have been exclusive, A-list affairs, drawing comparisons to the grandiose parties of the great Gatsby. Kevin Hart, a close friend of Diddy, is often seen raising spirits at these events with his sharp wit. Recently, Diddy's affection was on full display during an Instagram Live session where he unexpectedly complimented Kevin, calling him beautiful, which even took Kevin by surprise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I get it. You got it. You look time. beautiful. It was a I great move. You know, great I throw that product in there. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of the product. You know, look, if you're using the product, fellas, don't be. In a recent 25 minute video, we see Kevin Hart navigating through the chaos of what's known as the Last Train to Paris album release party by Dirty Money. The venue was so hectic that Kevin had to relocate to a quieter spot upstairs, straight into a hot tub, enjoying the vibe the right way. With friends like Trey and Fab around, it's clear that the party is designed to be welcoming and enjoyable for everyone present. What's going on? It's official. We're here. Dirty Money album release party. Last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes, got too hectic down there. I'm up here in a hot tub, uh, doing it official, you know what I'm saying? My nigga Trey's up here, my nigga Fab's up here. You know, when you, when you have a scene like this, you gotta bring bosses with you. As you see, it's female friendly. We got a ladies and a female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm not jumping, I'm not jumping the tub myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody moves out, you know, just me and the lady. This is my scene, I'm using this time. In another segment, the party moves to Diddy's bedroom, where the playful banter continues. Diddy, perhaps aware of the camera, tells Kevin with a laugh, come here, but hey, don't sit on the bed. Just don't get too close. We want to thank you, come here. Don't, don't, don't sit on the bed at night, no homo. No, just, just don't get close to the bed. Don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man. It's a humorous moment intended to ensure that their interactions remain in the fun and lighthearted spirit of the event clearly delineating personal boundaries while appreciating Kevin's role as host. While discussions often circle around Diddy's personal life, our focus here is on the exaggerated rumors that have surrounded celebrities for years. For instance, Jamie Foxx once shared his aspirations to break into these high-profile social circles, humorously recounting how he followed Puff to amazing parties. Following Puff, following Puff, and his parties were like amazing. We didn't feel it I fly to Philly, town car, same business, go up, but Puff say this party, play for this party right here, I see a million and a half dollars. I said, nigga, what? You spent a million and a half dollars on this party? Including one where he claimed Puff spent a whopping million and a half dollars. These stories highlight how such events serve as both spectacle and stepping stones within the industry. Indeed, not everyone views these parties in the same light. I said, Miss Ruth, could you please come over here? This guy by the name of Sean P. Did he come? I need you to come meet him. I need this for my camera. Dr. Ruth and Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel pool dance, doing their thing, right? And you know what they're dancing to? Over in the corner, God bless, is Heavy D. 
Andre Harrell, and they listening to a demo. You know what the demo is? Right. Bum, 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 bum. While figures like Jamie Foxx and Kevin Hart revel in the extravagance, others like 50 Cent have openly criticized the nature of these events, preferring different social settings due to personal differences with Diddy. The varied perspectives on Diddy's festivities illustrate how they are seen differently by various attendees, including Diddy's own mentees. Throughout his career, Diddy has played a mentorship role to many rising stars, helping shape their paths to success. Usher, for instance, spoke in a 2022 interview with Revolt Black News Weekly about the significant impact Diddy had on his career. He discussed the invaluable insights into the cultural dynamics of the industry he gained while under Diddy's guidance in New York City. During a candid interview with Howard Stern in 2016, Usher revealed that L.A. Reid arranged for him to stay at Diddy's residence in New York when he was just 14, calling it Puffy's Flavor Camp. This exposure to the entertainment world at such a young age presented Usher with challenging scenarios, surrounded by icons like Biggie Smalls and Faith Evans, experiences that he would later describe with a mix of nostalgia and nervous laughter. The narrative takes an unexpected turn when Diddy, appearing slightly intoxicated during a live stream, reminisces about the times he and a young Usher shared a bed, with Usher only 10 and Diddy 19. This awkward revelation was quickly glossed over by Diddy as he tried to divert the conversation during the live session, highlighting the complex layers of celebrity relationships and the public scrutiny they endure. The varied reactions to Diddy's parties also include the experience of other celebrities, like Denzel Washington, who left a $3 million black and white themed birthday bash for Diddy at the Plaza Hotel in New York rather abruptly. Despite the star-studded guest list featuring Jay-Z, Bono, and Kim Kardashian, Denzel's early departure suggested he was less than thrilled, although some speculate he was simply tired after a long day. Since then, Denzel has not been seen at any of Diddy's parties, which only adds to the mystique and speculation surrounding these events. When asked to share any specific incidents related to Diddy, Denzel opted to keep his experiences to himself, in contrast to other figures like Josh Ostrovsky, also known as the Fat Jewish, who vividly described his encounter at one of Diddy's Miami parties. His account of wandering through a labyrinthine mansion in search of a restroom led him to a room where he stumbled upon a group of men in an intimate setting, reminiscent of a Roman leisure scene, both erotic and opulent, capturing the essence of the indulgence associated with Diddy's gatherings. This blend of fame, lavishness, and alleged secrecy paints a complex picture of Diddy's exclusive parties, where the line between public persona and private revelry blurs. As the stories and speculations continue to unfold, they shape our understanding of a world that balances between the surreal and the all-too-real aspects of celebrity culture. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed this exploration of the glamorous yet often controversial world of celebrity parties, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share this video with your friends. Don't forget to drop a comment below with your thoughts on these stories. Stay tuned for more content and see you in the next video.